really excited to be bringing this group of people together around this topic. It's not something that I have seen talked about much in the world of work yet, and it's coming. Raise your hand if you have talked with a boss in your career about your mental health in the workplace. The truth is I, I got, I'm, I'm very fond of responsive, and I got on the phone with Willow and said, how can I help? We started talking, and next thing I knew, we're running a panel on destigmatization of mental health issues in the workplace, which is awesome. Psychological safety is being able to show up without fear of consequence of one's self-image or status or career. We hope to leave you with some practical tools and tips, both for you as an individual as well as an organization to bring back to your teams. I think there's almost something empowering about stepping into the agency of owning your own existential angst and pain of being a human and, and forgiving yourself and having compassion about any particular trait and kind of giving yourself permission to know that it's not that particular trait or weakness or struggle or whatever that is the cause of your pain and suffering. It's, you know, being human is pain and suffering. And if we can forgive ourselves in that, then it creates a little bit of room to welcome it as a part of ourself instead of trying so hard to push it away and get rid of it. Right, because every time one person is willing to tell a story about their mental illness and their life experience and how it's affected them, it makes it human. It makes it real. It brings it from like something that's stuck in here into the into the real world. You know, if you're a founder or you know somebody working in HR, if somebody in a senior position tells this story, it is so so powerful. We want to make fear safe. We want to you know, make it okay for us to actually be seen in the things that we are struggling with. I'm currently working with an incredible team on the responsive events and on Xander Media, and I feel so supported every day. Some days I have to say, hey, it's a rough day for my trauma. I'm not thinking as clearly. Brain fog is a very unfortunate side effect, and their response isn't to treat me like I'm broken or with kid gloves. It's to ask me what I need that day. Today is about optimizing mental health, by the way, also at work.